Hi there. I'm Frank again, this time to help you understand the updates to the 179D tax deduction, and how you may be eligible to receive a benefit five times larger than in previous years. As of this year, owners of commercial buildings or residential buildings four stories or more, and designers of buildings owned by non-taxable entities, such as government entities, not-for-profit, religious and tribal organizations, and not-for-profit schools and universities, can now receive an increased tax deduction for energy-efficient buildings. Here's how. The 179D Energy Efficient Commercial Building Tax Deduction received a facelift in August 2022 with the passing of the Inflation Reduction Act. The updated deduction now allows building owners and designers the opportunity to increase their tax deduction by up to five times, if they meet certain requirements. These requirements include, 1. Qualifying buildings must abide by the ASHRAE 90.1-2007 standard. To qualify, buildings must reduce the energy and power costs by 25% or more, in comparison to the minimum requirements of the baseline. Buildings that are 25% efficient over the baseline qualify for 50 cents per square foot of the entire building. This amount goes up 2 cents for each percentage point, up to 50%, which results in a $1 deduction per square foot. The following are two optional requirements, but to get the bonus rate which is 5 times the deduction mentioned previously, both requirements must be met. 1. The prevailing wages requirements. This just means that laborers working on the building project must be paid the average wage that an individual of their type, and in the location of the project, is expected to make. Because of differing costs of living, prevailing wages vary depending on the location of the project. 2. The apprenticeship requirements. To meet this requirement, if the contractors that work on the project employ at least four individuals, they must hire at least one apprentice to work on the project. There's also a minimum percentage of hours, depending on the year construction started, that an apprentice must work on the project to qualify for the bonus rate. For construction started in 2022, an apprentice must be given 10% of labor hours. Construction started in 2023 must give 12.5% of labor hours to the apprentice. And for construction started in 2024 or later, 15% of labor hours must go to an apprentice. If both of these requirements are met, along with the minimum 25% reduction to energy and power costs, the owner or designer of the building can claim $2.50 per square foot, compared to the 50 cents if the optional requirements aren't met. If the maximum reduction to energy and power costs of 50% is met, the deduction skyrockets to $5 per square foot, compared to $1 without the optional requirements. It's obvious why meeting the wages and apprenticeship optional requirements are worthwhile. There's a potential exemption to these optional requirements for buildings that started construction prior to January 29, 2023. Such properties are exempt from the prevailing wages and apprenticeship requirements, meaning, they automatically achieve that 5 times benefit multiplier. While the 179D deduction can be worth a lot more now, it also now requires more work to get the higher deduction. But when both the requirement and the optional requirements are met, the hard work pays off. It's crucial that you consult an experienced professional, if you're curious about claiming the 179D deduction, as there's a lot at stake. If you'd like more information or to chat with a professional, we'd be happy to help. Just head over to www.engineeredtaxservices.com.